Errol Spence has Terrence Crawford's entire career in his hands. Let's talk. Straighter. Yep. Not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot. It's exactly. the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as, long as you're trying to fight the great, the, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we'll be here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get the sources from clowns. So when you come around, we'll be here. Best fight the best. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried. Too many come, but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch. Hate that. Be the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the bands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So, Terrence Crawford is an undisputed three division champion. Got all the Boxer Writer Association awards. He can wrestle. You know, he has beef with Trey Songs. Jay Z took a picture with him. You know, the Nebraska Corn Huskers like him. He wears Green Bay Packers shirts and jerseys. He catches catfish. And none of that means a motherfucking thing if he doesn't fight Errol Spence. Nothing. You fought Gamboa. Congratulations. That means absolutely nothing if you don't fight Errol Spence. You beat Jeff Horn. Congratulations. That means absolutely nothing if you don't fight Errol Spence. You beat Julius Ndongo. That means absolutely nothing if you don't fight Errol Spence. Errol Spence validates Terrence Crawford's entire career. One fight. He validates his entire career. Every fight he's ever fought in means absolutely nothing. Reason being because y'all don't talk about it. The only fight y'all talk about when it comes to Terrence Crawford is Sean Porter. A fight that we had to literally force this man to fight. We had to literally shame this man into fighting. And now you guys want to take credit for a fight that you didn't even want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These Terrence Crawford weirdo fans, not regular boxing fans, who just happen to think that Terrence Crawford is the goods. Not you guys. The fucking weirdos who fought tooth and nail every fucking day about why Terrence Crawford don't need to fight Sean Porter. Why Terrence Crawford, uh, Sean Porter ain't shit. Sean Porter ain't nothing. Sean Porter ain't nobody. Sean Porter lost to everybody he ever fought. Anybody that was good, he lost to him. And now you say that he beat Sean Porter. He knocked him out. He stopped him. Only man to ever stop him. Wow. The only man to stop a fighter who has never fought again. Wow. The only man to retire Sean Porter. Well, the only man to retire your Dennis, I mean, uh, that retire Manny Pacquiao is your Dennis Ugas. Your Dennis Ugas is the only man to retire Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao is a bigger name than Sean Porter. Uh, Errol Spence makes this man's career. 
Errol Spence could say, fuck you. And all the clout chasing, all the tying your name to Errol Spence, anything that EJ does, this man's name is tied to it. All that shit goes right out the motherfucking window. <laughs> all of that shit goes right out the window. All of it. If Errol Spence goes to 154, fights for a belt, becomes a champion at 154, all the fighters are with the PBC. So Errol Spence can stay right on the PBC side and become a unified champion at 154. Yes, he can. Oh, well, Charles Crawford just chased him up to 154. Yeah, 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 just chased him to 154. Yeah, yeah, that was right. Yeah, he just chased him, yeah. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> so Errol Spence... Listen, bro, for y'all using that weak-ass analogy, understand, the best weight class for Terrence Crawford to fight Errol Spence in is 147. That is the best weight class. Terrence Crawford, what y'all all say is a little tiny guy, is a small guy. Terrence Crawford's a small, little, small welterweight. He's small, but he's growing into the size. He's getting his man strength. Yeah, he's growing into Well, Errol Spence has been at 47 his career. He's dabbled at 54. Yeah, Terrence Crawford started at 35. So if they move up in weight, who do you think have a better advantage? If they move up in weight, Errol Spence is just filling himself out to a weight class that he doesn't have to cut himself down that much. Terrence Crawford is gaining weight in a weight class that he's never been at before. Yeah. This little nigga going up to 54 to eat steaks. Going up there. Think shit sweet up there. Go ahead. You getting your motherfucking head damn near knocked off at 47 by a nigga named Green Beans. You damn near got decapitated by Gamboa at 35. But you want to go to 54 to fight Errol Spence. So you're going to get this man the advantage, even more of an advantage than he already has, because he has an advantage right now. But you're going to give him even more advantage at 54 to fight him. All right, yeah, I believe that when I see it. First off, I don't believe nothing this nigga say. At this point, that I don't believe nothing Bud says. Nothing. And I absolutely know without a shadow of a doubt that Errol Spence holds this man's entire career in his hands. Y'all can run around here fit, saying this fluff, this fucking stupid ass shit all the fuck you want. Oh, man, Errol Spence, uh, uh, I mean, Terrence Crawford don't need Errol Spence. Terrence Crawford, he don't need EJ because, because Terrence Crawford's a Hall of Famer right now. Well, if he doesn't need him, why the fuck is every conversation about him? Move on. Go away. If you don't need Errol Spence, then fight who you need. If you're a Hall of Famer already, I don't need Errol Spence, I don't need Errol, you don't need Errol, then why does your dick riding fans, all they do is talk about Errol Spence? Why does your dick riding fans have these whack, weak, weird, cornball, goofy ass channels with whack ass, punk, stupid, silly, moist, Bitch-ass name titles. <laughs> Their whole channel is about Errol Spence, Bud Dick Riders. Their whole channel. It's not about Bud and nobody else. It's about Bud and Errol Spence. That's their whole channel. <laughs> and it's, multi it's multitudes of them. A multitude. Errol Spence can make or break this man with the stroke of a pen. One sentence. Fuck off. Errol Spence can move to 54 and be a unified champion. Something that Terrence Crawford never was. A two-division unified champion. Terrence Crawford was never that. One belt at 35. One belt at 47. Undisputed at 40. Errol Spence can be unified at 47 and then unified at 54. And then go to 60. <laughs> yeah, and any one of those. Errol holds the keys to this man's entire career. Oh, no, no, he doesn't, man. No, 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 he doesn't. He was undisputed against who? Y'all motherfuckers just say he was undisputed, but you don't say who he fought. 
Because then when you mention Ndongo, a nigga say, who? The nigga that Tay Jones damn near killed? Or the nigga that motherfucking Regis Porgray um, blew his entire system stomach out? That guy? Which one? Who, uh, who, re, that, that guy? Which one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter, BFT, because it doesn't matter because he, he, he was the champion. So it, it doesn't matter. He still did it. He, he still beat him. It doesn't matter. He's the champion. Yeah, it, it does matter. You, you know it matters. Because if you guys would have, if you guys believe that it didn't matter, then whenever you ask who is Terrence Crawford's best competition on his resume, you would not say Sean Porter. You would say Ndongo. So it does matter. It absolutely matters. Absolutely. 100% matters. Because if you mention who is Errol Spence's best competition, then you're going to mention Kell Brook, Sean Porter, you know, Danny, even Danny Garcia. But you're going to mention top names, right? If you mention who's the best competition for Terrence Crawford, it is Sean Porter, and that is it. Y'all can't say Gamboa no more. After Tank killed, damn near killing this man, and Devin beating this, this man half to death, and he can't... Mention Gamboa no more. You never mentioned Ndongo, although Ndongo gave him the highest accolade of his career. Undisputed. The accolade that you all run around is accolades. It's accolades matter. BFs, accolades, it's accolades matter. It's his accolades. That's all it is, it's accolades. He's got better accolades. He's, he's undisputed. Okay, so if you claim undisputed is the thing, then the best competition on his resume should be Julius Ndongo. But you guys know that's not the case, which is why you never mention Ndongo. That's that's the reason why. That's the reason why when you mention a man's best competition, the, health is, the hardest competition he ever had, you mentioned Sean Porter. You never mentioned Ndongo. It's never happened. Never happened. It's always been Sean Porter. Oh, he beat Sean Porter, Barry Earl Spence. It's Sean Porter because Sean Porter, and he beat, uh, in my opinion, Sean Porter beat Earl Spence, in my opinion, and Sean Porter beat Earl Spence, Sean Porter, and Terrence Crawford just destroyed Sean Porter. Well, what about Ndongo? Sean Porter did not give Terrence Crawford undisputed. Sean Porter was a mandatory. That, the only belt that was on the line was Terrence Crawford's belt. That was the only belt on the line. Ndongo gave him undisputed. Ndongo. Yeah, Ndongo. So the biggest fight, the best fight on Terrence Crawford, Crawford's resume should be Julius Ndongo, not Sean Porter. But Errol Spence never fought Julius Ndongo. So you can't compare Julius and Dongo and Errol Spence. But Sean Porter did. Yeah, Sean, Sean Porter did. You can't compare Kell Brook because they both stopped Kell Brook. You can't compare Kell uh, You can't compare uh, Brook. But you can use Sean Porter, which is why that's the only name y'all do. Because of Errol Spence. Errol Spence has this, this, man's, this man's whole career in his hands with one fight or two. If Errol Spence says, let's we'll do a rematch, although the man said I only want one fight at 47, then I'm moving up. If he wants a rematch for that one fight, so be it. I don't, doesn't matter to me. I'm fine seeing that fight one, two, or three times. I'm fine seeing Errol demolish this man over and over and over again. I'm totally fine with it. Totally, I have no problem with Errol Spence fighting this man three times, four times. I have no problem, bro. You will never hear me say, oh man, I don't want a rematch, man. No, I speak off of what EJ says. EJ said he has one fight at 47, then he's moving up. He wants to be undisputed, and then he's moving up. Okay, well, if he wants to be undisputed and then defend it against the same person, I have no problem. No problem whatsoever. Fight him three times. Fight him four. Fight him five times. I don't care. Fight Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. You guys fight each other for the remainder of your careers over and over and over again. Doesn't matter to me at all. I will gladly watch Errol Spence demolish this man ten times over. I have no problem. I have no problem with that. Errol Spence makes this man's career. Errol Spence is giving this man the highest bag of his entire career. Errol Spence is giving this man's entire resume validity. Errol Spence is making this man's name pop because he damn sure ain't doing it. Bob Arum damn sure didn't do it. Julius Ndongo damn sure didn't do it. No fighter he fought at 147 not named Ter uh, Sean Porter damn near didn't do it. And the only reason why Sean Porter did it is because of him fighting Errol Spence. That is the only reason why. So if Errol Spence decides to say, fuck you, nigga, 
I'm fighting Boots. Fuck you, I'm fighting Keith Thurman. Fuck you, I'm fighting Stannis Baratheon. They're all mandatories. They're all number one for his belt. Every last one of them are great fucking fights. Every last one of them are the best fighting the best. Every single one of them. And Terrence Crawford will be left with Virgil Ortiz unless Errol Spence takes that from him too. <laughs> Got your hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Errol Spence can take that too. Everything. Errol Spence owns everything about this man. Everything. He might as well change his name from Terrence Crawford to Terrence Spence. Because Errol Spence owns this man's career. He will validate or non-validate his entire career. He will validate or, or motherfucking re rebuke it. <laughs> God, it, it's up to Errol Spence. That nigga's over here like, okay, I will validate your career. Or he's out here on that Sealy. Everything, everything that you've done to me, I already done to you. <laughs> Bro, Errol Spence owns this man's career. They don't mention Terrence Crawford and say, oh, why don't you fight Jerome Boots? No, they run, oh, oh gosh, no Boots. We, oh, we want Earl, just Earl. They don't tell this man, why don't you fight your number one in Virgil Ortiz? It's, oh, God, no, nobody knew but Virgil Ortiz. We want Earl, Earl, Earl. Yeah, that's his, that's your fans, Terrence Crawford. Your fans are doing that. Your fans are proving that Errol runs your career. Your fans. Because your fans are not asking you to fight anybody else. Your fans. Errol Spence fans want Errol Spence to fight Terrence Crawford too. But Errol Spence fans know that Stannis Baratheon is right there too, at number one in WBA. Errol Spence fans also know that Virgil Ortiz is from Texas, and Errol Spence versus Virgil Ortiz is a big-ass fight in Texas. Errol Spence fans also know that Jerron Boots Ennis is the goods, and he's number one in the, in the IBF. So if Errol Spence fights Jerron Boots Ennis, that is a fucking amazing fight, which people would believe that Errol Spence would lose. Errol Spence can fight Keith Thurman. That fight has been in the making forever. People are saying that, Keith, that Errol Spence is ducking Keith Thurman. So if Errol Spence fights Keith Thurman, that's a built-in fight, a big-ass fight. Terrence Crawford has none of that. <laughs> none of that. He has none of that. None. Every fight that I mentioned about Errol Spence will sell. Every single one of them. Stannis Baratheon will be at the lowest, on the low end. But that's the only one that will be on the low end. Errol Spence versus Boots sells. Errol Spence versus Thurman sells. Errol Spence versus Virgil Ortiz motherfucking sells. Errol Spence versus Stannis Baratheon sells, but it's the lowest one of all of them. Terrence Crawford don't sell with none of them motherfuckers. Matter of fact, the one that Terrence Crawford will sell on is Keith Thurman. That one. And it will be nowhere fucking near the bag for Errol Spence. Nowhere near. Nowhere fucking near. And it might be a 50-50 split. Yeah, <laughs> because PBC is putting up the bag. Nobody else. Errol Spence owns this man. Literally owns this man. And if they fight, he will beat the shit out of this man. He fucking owns him. He owns his whole career. Errol Spence beats Terrence Crawford. All these accolades y'all niggas talking about all go into Errol Spence's pocket. Every last one of them. Yeah, Terrence Crawford was undisputed. And Errol Spence beat him. Yeah, Terrence Crawford is, is a three-division uh, three champion until Errol Spence beat him. Yeah, so all these accolades you niggas talk about, the Errol Sp uh, Terrence Crawford got, man. Terrence Crawford got all these accolades, man. He accolades, accolades, man. Accolades is the reason why he's, he's the, Hall, the Hall of Fame, you know. It's accolades, it's accolades, blah, blah, blah. It's accolades, yeah. Well, Errol Spence beating Terrence Crawford takes everything that Terrence Crawford ever had. One fight. He owns that man. Whether y'all like it or not. I know y'all gonna be mad about this shit all in the comments. No BFTB, no way. It's not, it's not even true. Not true. I disagree. No way. I disagree. No. Earl Spence, no. It's Earl Spence. He, he, he. Listen, he ain't going to the Hall of Fame right now. That's what it is. Turn Crawford going to the Hall of Fame right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, he better not fight Earl Spence then. He better not fight him then. <laughs> go fight Virgil Ortiz, bro. Go, go. And listen, bro. I'm pretty sure um, one of these bum ass niggas in WBOers, they'll, they'll fight you, bro. Skip uh, Virgil Ortiz, skip Boots. There's a, a McKinnison, a motherfucking uh, a Calum, Calum, Calum. There's a Liam, Liam somewhere. Fight one of them. <laughs> Don't fight Errol Spence, dog. Because you fight Errol Spence and all this weird ass shit that you niggas is talking about. Gone. Over with. Finish, kaput. EJ owns this man. Literally owns this man. 
owns him. EJ has options. Terrence Crawford does not. It just is what it is. I know y'all gonna be mad about it. But since when have I ever given a fuck what the hell y'all niggas be thinking? BFTB. Shout to the mighty LDBC. And I'm out.